Hey guys, welcome to Eva Audacious Loves, where we talk about the things me, Ebony, loves. And among those things are mostly fragrances. But today we're going to talk about some eyeshadow palettes that I bought over the past year and what I think about them. If that's something you'd be into, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I did a pretty significant declutter of my eyeshadow palettes and I just actually gave those to my niece over the Thanksgiving holiday and she was really happy to get them. Um, and now I'm just looking at what I purchased this year. Now, I have really gone down on my purchases of eyeshadow palettes just because my collection is so big and I have a lot of colors. I, I have a lot of palette schemes and I just have found that I'm only grabbing certain ones. And so I just haven't been buying palettes the way I used to. And I also have limited the number of times I've gotten subscription boxes because I've really been trying to use up the product that I have. So I've been pausing them a lot. And so I haven't gotten many um, items in subscription boxes. So when I pulled my palettes together for this year, I purchased nine palettes and three, three I got in subscription boxes. I purchased nine on my own at the store and then I got three in subscription boxes. Um, so I thought I'd go through those that I got and talk about them and, you know, I'll talk about which ones were my favorites and those I haven't even used at all. Um, you know, those I haven't used at all right away are the three that I did get in subscription boxes, um, which I don't know if that says anything about that, but I also know there were some good boxes that I did not get. So I'm not going to poo poo the subscription boxes. It's just the ones that I got, two of these came in the same one together. So I actually got um, two boxes with palettes in them. And the other one, um, I just haven't worn. So one of those is Valid Glosses and it's the Pinky Promise. And this is what it looks like. And I have this one in my car um, as a backup for if ever I'm coming from work or leave the house late and I need to do my face, um, there's a palette in the car. Now I have another one that I purchased that actually has been my go-to palette in the car, which is why this one looks like it hasn't been touched because I use this other one more frequently. But I'll get to that I'm doing the subscription boxes. The other one that um, I haven't had a chance to use is the Brazilian Glow Face Palette from Ciate. Now I do like Ciate. This is what it looks like. Um, I see me taking this on vacation. I will be traveling um, again soon. And, and I see this as a good vacation, a good travel palette. And so I'm looking forward to taking that with me. And then I also got another one from Icon Iconic London. I, um, I like how this looks, but I haven't worn it. This is what it looks like. Um, I think I might have used one of these colors, but I don't remember. So I can't really say about that palette. These are the ones I haven't used. Then I'll talk about the ones that I have used or used frequently. This palette I bought just simply because it has black black doll on it. I picked her up from TJ Maxx for about $6.00. Um, this is what the inside looks like. I'm not inspired by these colors at all. Yeah, these colors aren't inspiring. Um, I just have it sitting there because it's cute and it's a brat doll. That's all. The other one I bought for another nostalgia purposes was the Morphe Disney collab. This was at TJ Maxx. Um, it's what it, this is what it looks like. This is another one that I just don't find inspiring. I pick it up, I look at it. The yellow, I got the original, the small nine pan, because it is yellow. But this yellow is terrible. It's like so chalky and terrible. And I look at this, and I just don't get inspired by it. I just haven't been. And so I haven't used it. <laughs> and then I got the Morphe 35S Sweet Oasis. This was another one that was on my wish list. 
and this is what it looks like i did wind up doing a look with this these colors um but i don't reach for this palette so those are the ones that i got and i haven't really used um are any of them getting decluttered no because i just i got this one i want to give this one a try this spring i didn't really i got this like late spring i want to give it a try and i'm just not getting rid of the mickey mouse <laughs> So the one that's been my go-to in the car is Pat McGrath Labs Mothership. Oh, the Love Collection. I picked this up at TJ Maxx. No, Marshalls. I got this at Marshalls. This is what it looks like. And I got my two Pat McGraths from Marshalls. This is so pretty. These, her shadows are good, guys. And I wear this one. This is my go-to in the car. I keep this in the car. If I'm leaving the house late, I do my makeup with this and then gets the job done i love this palette the other mother the other one i got was the mothership celestial the celestial nirvana i just got this recently i used it one time so far and it's very nice i used this color here i made a really nice look with that um it's good and one I've lightly used, but I did make a cute little look, was this Casper one, another one I bought. See, I'm at the point now, I have all these palettes, and the only reason why I'm buying palettes is like, oh, this is cute, I like this, it's part of my collection. Or I'm also on the look for, like, I'm on the, I'm on the look for the ultimate neutral palette for me. And so neutral palettes have been something that I've been, like, attracted to. But, um, yeah, this Casper palette, I got this at Walgreens. This is what it looks like. Um, I've done something with the blues. If you know me, you know I, I like blues. And so I did something with the blues. Um, I actually used this with my Blueberry Muffin palette. and made a nice look with the two of them together. Yeah, so and this is um, Perfusion, a Perfusion palette. So these next three palettes, um, they have been loves. I've used the heck out of these and made gorgeous looks for me. One was from Glam Light. It was the wine palette. I, I like this little container, so I kept it. Let me show you how much I used that. Look at that. I used the heck out of this. I love Glam Light's shimmer formula. I love that it's like this creamy formula it does it looks so pretty it comes on so thick i don't have to do worry about cut creases and all that to get my colors to pop and so i really do enjoy this this right this this palette it made such a pretty look I don't smell <laughs> um i make make such pretty purple looks with it and it's been a fave and i'm so glad i have it and purples are i tend to do a lot of purple looks purples and pinks and i love this one the other one is a Glam Light palette, and it was part two of the Michaela palette. When I have to do something green, look at that. I used the heck out of this palette. I like her first one, too. I got this so cheap. I guess she fell out of, you know, people weren't, you know, mad at her about something. So I got this palette for like $14 after the holidays. Can't beat that. Um, and I've been loving it. I love it. And then another one that I got super cheap was another, I guess, person people got upset with and I benefited from it was this Jaclyn Hill palette. I cannot tell you how much I've been using this palette. This is a cool tone neutral and it has been just a go-to this fall. I've been using this at least three times a week I've been using this palette so it's been a great palette so my favorite out of all of my purchases is it my Naclin Hill I think it's my Michaela like these two are my favorites and then my least favorite would have to be 
out of all of these. I think it's this Mickey Mouse one. Like, I just, yeah, it's this one. I just don't really like this one. <laughs> yep, so those are my palette purchases for 2023. Um, let me know what you guys, how many palettes did you buy this year? Did you take it easy or did you buy a new palette all the time? Like, my, my money has mostly been going to my fragrance journey. So I've been doing more fragrance purchases than I have been doing palette purchases. I do have, I do want to get, try the Makeup by Mario palette. And I do want to try one of the Patrick Ta palettes because I like, love his blush. And so I do want to try his palette. Like I said, I, I am on this, like, trying to find, and even the, the, the Denisa Maestro, Maestro, I don't know. I, don't remember. I kind of be interested in her palette. And there's still a few Natasha Denona palettes I kind of would like to have in my collection and try. So there are still some brands that are attracting me. Um, and I may, you know, get a couple. I, I, I'm sure. I okay, everyone. I don't know what happened here, but I must have lost battery power. About battery power. So I just want to wish everyone a good day. And if you're not having a good one, just know things will get better. All right. Bye.